So I'm here in St. George, Utah, and that is the St. George Temple, which is currently having an open house. Today is the last day of that open house. And we were here today to look around inside the temple. It's the temple of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Other people know them as Mormons, but they don't like to be called that. So they would say Latter-day Saints or LDS for short. And I am here all dressed up for that purpose. That's my friend there, Colin. Hey, how are you doing? He's actually from Antigua, yeah. but I met him in Trinidad. He was a missionary there. And um, I'm going to go around to the other side so you can see what it looks like closer. Okay, so this is the front side of the temple. They always say the house of the Lord. And this temple is quite old, it comes from one of the early times of the church, the pioneer settlers here in Utah. Interesting that they have roses growing at this time. I'm going to try and bypass a lot of the people here. That's a fountain. And that's how it looks up close. Some of the beautiful um, flora and fauna that's here. The last time I was around this temple and in St. George, I was around eight or nine years old. There's a long history of my family being here in Utah. And if you want to know more about that and why I'm in Utah now, you can look at the other video for that. One can find their spirituality here if they so desire. It is all up to the individual. One of the things I want to mention is this great couple. They're called the Moors. That's Colin and Lorianne Moore. They were very good to me. They are examples of what it means to actually live spiritually rather than just speaking about it. Something I am big for because I believe spirituality is more about action than just words. And they are great examples of that. In fact, if it wasn't for them, I would be stuck in the Salt Lake City airport in my arrival to Utah. And that's another video to come out, so look out for that if you're interested in that story. Of course, like anything else in any beautiful building that has beautiful landscape, trees, flowers and stuff, one could find their selves in commune with God and spirituality, however they wish. Of course, nature is anywhere. And one could be just walking down the road and find that. But such buildings always bring you to some sort of attention or acknowledgement that there is a God. And there is something greater out there. However that be to you of whatever religion. That's a chapel house out there. Usually people meet there first and then go to the temple. I hope you enjoyed the trip today. I hope you enjoyed looking at everything. It's quite interesting. If you ever get a chance to go to an open house, just attend, just to see what it looks like. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching.